Look up. In uh, the previous visits notes, I would have said warm compresses, continue Isuvis, RTC two weeks. If uh, cornea is not responding, consider amniotic membrane therapy. That way, in my documentation, I have noted my plan if it's still a persistent defect. Okay? Blotted? You're good? Okay. While you put the drop in, this one's yours to play around with. Okay. So I'm going to do this like you're in a room by yourself, okay? You can have your exam chair, maybe the slit lamp arm right here, but I found I want to control the entire patient situation. You don't want to put a membrane in, let go of their upper lid, look away, whatever. So I'm going to show you the way to do it so that you don't have to leave the patient uh, arm's length away the whole time, okay? So, double packaged, so it maintains sterility. So, we do that because most of my patients, they understand, okay, you're going to put a tissue on there, but they just want to see it. Most of your patients, when you say, Mrs. Jones, I'm going to see you back in two weeks, and if it's not responding to your medications, I'm going to use a, a tissue. It is amniotic tissue. It is not... Uh, from the fetus. It is derived from purely donated tissue. It is not from any type of ill situation or any aborted situation. These are 100% donated tissue that the, the donating mother had to go through through testing. And then once we actually get the harvested tissue, there's another set of testing. So we clearly have to dig, uh, tell the patient and divulge what they're doing. Uh, and that's in your packet. It actually has all that in the packet for you as well. Most of the time, I'll say that, and they're like, I, I'm not really sure what you're talking about. I'm going to say, this is a piece of tissue that has all kinds of proteins and anti-inflammatories and antimicrobials. There's about 20, 30 different particles that are going to help this eye heal quicker and make sure you don't have any more issues. And it kind of looks like a contact lens. And I showed it to them, and they'll be like, that's it? I'm like, that's it. Okay. Any questions, sir? No? All right. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm getting my area prepped up. So do you see how... I don't want to open it all the way, but there is your membrane right there. So that's as far as I go. I want to get one side, so I want to control it. Okay. And I'm going to leave it right there. And I'm going to show you how I do the contact lens when I'm in the room by myself, okay? So, hands are clean, okay? You feeling good, Miss Teresa? Absolutely. There it is. I actually put it right there. Okay? And we are ready to go. So, tilt your head back. There we go. So, it's just like putting a contact lens in. I'm gonna hold her upper eyelid in place. I had a lady earlier that said you did it, you held it a long time. Yes, that's on purpose. Okay, so blink really good. Blink, 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 and have her look right here. I am gonna hold it in place just like that. You see that? So you see how I just flipped it over? And I squeezed, I backed away. Now, you start from the middle, and you just work your way out. Might have a couple folds here. So you just kind of really just tease those folds out just a little bit. And you see how it's already went from an opaque to like a slightly translucent? And you see that? I, I did that on purpose, Teresa, I'm sorry. I wanted them to see that. But you see how I can tug? Yeah, I'll there. It's already secure. And it's okay if you see like a little tiny fold. 100%. We'll talk about that here in just a moment. So it's secure. I grab that. I have not let go of that upper lid. And I make sure it's in play. Mine don't act like that. Just play it right now. All right. That's how mine go. Yeah, no, no. Okay. So I will say. He's great. That's a that's a large membrane, okay? That's a 10. Yes. Yes. On purpose, okay? So that's a 10 milliliter you guys membrane. Are, are more than welcome to yeah, get close and look if you want. <laughs> okay. 
I'm not really sure. Yeah, look up. Look up, there you go. Yeah, it's a good lens. Okay. Um, most of the time, if you have a really good patient that wears contact lenses, they're gonna be okay with it, right? And they're numbed up. But I tend to go with a smaller membrane on purpose for that reason, okay? I do a lot of nursing home care. You guys know, you've got like a small window, right? In the nursing home setting, usually I'll, I'll do it bedside so I can control all the variables, deal with all that stuff. And